Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. We had a, a, a slight interruption. <laughs> Glory to God. Technology and all of that. But we're back. And, and, and let, me, let me tie this whole thing together. And, 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 and as, as we pray and close. Hallelujah. When you understand, we're talking about the fact that we have been set as a city on a hill. When you understand that fact, then you begin to ask yourself, how do I then go about shining this light? How do I go about shining this light? This is why I'm here. I am a city set on a hill. I am here to shine the light of God. The light that causes men to know him and to be drawn to him. How do I go about that? And then the Bible tells us, and let me say it to you in, in two words, two words that we're going to look at again tomorrow. Crazy love. Crazy love. I was thinking about this lately and I realized there's no better way to even put it that I can think of other than crazy love. We used to talk about the fact that, now the Bible tells us that he that loveth not, knoweth not God. He that does not love abides in darkness. The Bible says that, 1 John chapter 2, verse 10. He who loves his brother abides in the light. So when you are thinking about how do I, how do I begin to be the light? Because I'm a city set on a hill. And every of my spaces and times were predetermined. The people around me were pre-planted. The people I encounter regularly. The people I encounter regularly were predetermined. And God has planned that in that space, I should be the light. So how do I begin to be the light? Well, the Bible says it is by loving. But what kind of loving? Well, the crazy kind of loving. So this is how Jesus put it. A new commandment I give to you. That you love one another, look at this, as I have loved you. That you also love one another. The kind of love that Jesus asks us to love one another with is the love that is crazy. You see, regular love does not command the question. Regular love does not ask, does not cause people to ask why. Remember, we're trying to get them to ask us the reason for our hope. Regular love does not make people question why. But the Jesus kind of love, the crazy love, when love does not make sense, it makes people say why. Because they need to make sense of it. They begin to ask you the reason. Jesus put it beautifully this way in Matthew chapter 5 verse 43 from verse 43 you have heard that it was said you shall love your neighbor and hate your enemy but I say to you love your enemies bless those he's stepping into the crazy love place now bless those who curse you do good to those who hate you and pray for those who spitefully use you and persecute you that you may be the sons of your father. In other words, this is a DNA thing. That you may operate in the nature of your father. Your nature. This life. When he says that you may be the sons of your father, he was talking about that life. That divine life. The life of the father that is in the son. That is in you. So that you might be like your father. Showing his life. Remember that life is the light of men. Then he says that you may be the sons of your father in heaven for he makes his son rise on the evil and on the good and sends rain on the just and on the unjust. For if you love those who love you, that's normal love, what reward have you? Do not even the tax collectors do the same? And if you greet your brethren only, what do you do more than others? So the love we are called to love with, the love that shines as light. The love that is this light. This life is the light. This life is a life of love. And that love that causes people to turn and look. 
that makes people say, why? Why would you? That love is the crazy love. We will call it crazy love. We will begin to use that language. Crazy love. Because there is regular love. But that regular love does not call attention to itself. That regular love does not make people ask why. It says, if you greet your brethren only, what do you do more than others? That love has to exceed others. If you love those who love you and hate those who hate you, if you do good to those who it makes sense for you to do good for, to them, if your life is regular in its love work, what do you do more than others? Why should we turn to you? How are you then the light? So it's crazy love. We're going to talk about this tomorrow. My time is up. Hallelujah. Wherever you are, go ahead, lift your hands and just bless the Lord and praise him. Ask God right now to open your eyes to opportunities where you can love like Jesus. Because this life we have in him is the light. And this life has a nature of love. It loves by nature that you may be the sons of your father. That you may be the sons of your father. It's a nature love. It's it's natural for us to love that way because we are birth of the person who himself is called love. Ask God to show you even greater revelation of who you are as a love being and show you opportunities around you to do more than others in this love work. We'll continue tomorrow. Father, I pray that you will help us live out the truth of your word in Jesus' mighty and precious name we pray. And everyone said, Amen. Don't miss tomorrow. We're continuing on how to actually execute and live out this life practically in your everyday and you will find evangelism so easy because this is the secret tool the secret ingredient of our call to be the light of the world have a wonderful day today and remember that you're tremendously loved by god and unconditionally and because of it you will experience his wisdom his power and his favor keep living in the consciousness of god's love for you Have a wonderful day today, in Jesus' name. Amen.